The main island of Taiwan, lying just over 100 miles from the coast of Southeast China, has been home to various indigenous tribes for centuries. Largely undiscovered, I was intrigued to explore the country on two wheels. This country is inhabited by almost 24 million people and has two-thirds of its landmass covered by mountains. My journey starts in Chai, the gateway to Taiwan's mighty central mountain ranges, before embarking on a five-day journey to some of the highest roads in the country at an altitude of 3,000 meters. A mix of Chinese, Japanese and indigenous cultural influences, Taiwan offers a land of mountains, tranquil forests and a diverse cultural experience. Hello, good afternoon from Taiwan. I am in a small city, Jiayi, in southwest part of the country and have decided to do a scooter riding for the next few days. I have been so, so nervous, if I'm being honest with you, of course. However, uh, I have this a local, I think this is Kimco, not so sure, 158cc, which is perfect for me because I think I just want something easy in a country like Taiwan where everyone is actually riding a scooter. I hope to get through different mountain roads and just like nooks and crannies of the country and get a sense of this country a little bit better after riding. Hi. So I am going to top up a bit of petrol just because probably it sets me off nicely. Ni hao. Uh, Two, four, two. Yes, 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 please. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is that full? Okay, yeah, full. Cool. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in the Indonesia, uh, what the chai in England, <laughs> Manchester. Yeah. You are so beautiful. Ah, she's in here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I love all of this small shops that we are currently passing by. with the help of my Taiwanese friend as a guarantor because I don't think as a foreigner alone most of the scooter rental or motorbike rental would trust foreigner enough especially with my international driving license and I think they was asking for a Taiwanese driving license and I'm like oh, I don't have one I'm just a tourist Seeing this, wow, oh, it's such a dense forest. I think I'm just in an awe because I didn't know much about Taiwan. Yeah, it's crazy, like the roads goes through this nooks and crannies on the on this hilly area. I think we are passing through a settlement. Wow. 
wow, these houses are beautiful. Look at this tiny mountain road. <laughs> now I'm the only one. I think this semi tunnel see is that to prevent um, landslide I'm just documenting this moment where I'm actually riding through the mist and it is quite thick and dense there is a very low visibility I have quite a bit to go because of the very late start I am just going to ride and focus on trying to get there before it gets dark biggest mistake of travel I've made in my entire travel history. I underestimated how far the distance, how big these national parks are in Taiwan. I booked an accommodation already, not knowing that it was on the other side of the national park. I've spent a minimum of a couple of days actually to study the map, just the map. I didn't film anything after what I filmed the last time and it was just constant riding sharp turns in this national park changing from one national park to the other which I didn't know I wasn't aware of and this mountains really really humbles you with the altitude of over 2200 some of these mountain roads and it was pitch black started to feel really ridiculous absolutely i don't know how to even tell that without having any single footage or or, or anything that i recorded because all i could think of at the time was just i just wanted to be safe i was safe physically just like i, d I didn't want to be stuck in the mountain roads in the dark like this so i just had to keep riding and kept moving just going to go to bed, honestly. <laughs> I slept very well last night so I am currently in an accommodation next to Yushan National Park in Taiwan uh, basically in Nanto County and if you know Taiwan being an island you think that it's a small country but the diversity of the landscape is immense but today the next plan would be going up north to Sun Moon Lake try to see this uh, lake that has become popular among tourists. Off we go! I love this um, 
type of settlement where you get to see what the locals are doing, what they are selling. <laughs> so I just topped up three liters and chose the 95. Paid 60, sorry, 96 uh, Taiwanese dollar. I was up there last night. There, one of. The peaks! Wow! Crazy! I made a quick stop in a small rural town of Sri Lee for a morning coffee at a convenience store. I wanted to take a brief moment to see interesting details of Taiwanese towns and took the morning slow before continuing on my 100 km ride. I was still feeling the fatigue from yesterday's 4-hour 150 km ride on the winding roads which were some of the highest mountain roads in the country. plan was to make a quick stop at this Sun Moon Lake. But obviously the weather says otherwise and this misty rain is not fun obviously. So instead of getting stuck in the dark or not knowing what the steep road would be like and I think I'm still a bit cautious because I haven't got my bearing so much about riding in Taiwan. I think I should just keep going, really. managed to check in successfully and the owner of this guest house told me that there is a fun fair held by Yunnan people who migrated a long time ago from China at the nearest elementary school and I'm in between this <laughs> internal battle whether I truly want to have just a quiet night not having to do anything but I suppose when I'm in Taiwan and if there's this opportunity of just see a bit more, a bit of culture, people, I think it would be great. So yeah, I think I've decided to just proceed and do not listen to what my heart and mind is telling me. Being one of the most ethnically diverse regions, Yunnan province in China has a long and complex migration history spread over different generations and places, including Taiwan. Known as one of the most important celebrations of people of the Yunnan province, Torch Festival is a celebration and affirmation of the ancient cultural heritage featuring its music, dance, food and costumes.
you so much for watching today's episode. Please make sure to let me know what you think of this video and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye!